You. <clears throat> Fuck you. Rune ore is about to be below 10k. Yep. I just made 1.1 mil. Just keep standing around in my ass.
RuneScape activity. I'm killing black demons. These things are really easy to kill, just like everything else on this game now. Everything's easy to kill. How many do I have left? I have 36 more. Yeah, I had to do like 250 of these or 260, I don't remember. <laughs>
Holy shit. It's gonna be 117 degrees out tomorrow and Friday. Yay! So I am not going outside at all Thursday and Friday. And then next Friday, it's going to drop down to 108. Yay! Still not going outside. Oh, I'm so sick of this heat. Summer came on your chest really late. But it sure came and it came hard. Only a hundred thousand more maple logs to go. And then I just gotta buy more. You leave me alone for five seconds. Ugh. I hate clingy girlfriends. Yeah, I said that with a plural, girlfriends, a couple of them are really clingy and it's annoying. If I don't reply to every single thing they say, they get all pissed off, and then I get pissed off, and then I have less boobs to touch. Oh, Damn it. Go find a side guy or something. Give it ten seconds. Shockingly, this clingy chick isn't fat. Yay! Sick of these stupid, obnoxious flies. I need more smoke juice. I need a better hookah pen. This one doesn't smoke enough. I could get one of those vapor boxes, but they're like 80 bucks. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna waste 80 bucks just to make a bunch of smoke. If I really wanna make smoke that bad, I'll start a fire like my typical pyromaniac self. 20 seconds, folks. And then if I don't reply within like 10 seconds, I'll get another text saying, Where are you, baby? Why are you talking to me? Are you cheating on me? Yes, bitch, because we're not even dating. And there's text number two. 
which is the one saying, why are you replying? Where are you, baby? Seventy four point two million fire making XP. Gonna get one twenty fire making, and then I'm gonna go for ninety slayer. 87 Slayer, 375k from 88, we're texting me. Another fire spirit emerges from my deck. Snapchat time! Boys! Do we port a Snapchat? This video is about to be one gigabyte in size. 993 megs, 994 megs, 996 megs, 999. And this video is officially one gigabyte in size. Yep. Luckily, it's only crappy 720p quality. If it was 1080p, it'd probably be over 2 gigs by now. Folks, this video is going to take a while to upload. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I'm just bored. This video is basically for the very few like maybe one or two people that are obsessed with me and they watch every second of every video that I have ever made so they can pretty much pretend that they're with me right now like live chatting with Nick's vet even though no one's gonna watch this because this is gonna be buried under hundreds of other videos yep one gigabyte so far, Giga bite me. 
1.01 gigabytes, 1.02 gigabytes, gigabyte me. One point zero three gigabytes. One point zero four gigabytes. Folks, I need to get a new laptop because this one is starting to take a shit already and I've only had it for like three and a half years, but it's burned out a lot quicker compared to previous computers I've had because I use this thing constantly, all day, every day for RuneScape. <clears throat> so yeah, it's starting to burn out already. Computers have usually lasted me at least five or six years. Usually at least five. This one's lasted like three and a half. Almost four. I think my desk, I still have my old desktop computer even though I don't use it anymore. That thing is like 10 years old, but I never use it anymore. <clears throat> I've gone portable. I only get portable crap now, which means I only get laptops. But my laptop is pretty much a desktop now. Because the damn battery doesn't work. So I gotta keep it plugged into the wall. Yep, laptop reverted back into a desktop. Lovely. And the stupid fan is starting to go out too. I gotta keep blowing on the damn thing every time I turn it on. Stupid thing will turn itself on, so I gotta blow it on the damn fan like a slut to turn it on. And then I get turned on. Oh. One point one one gigabytes. Damn it, I forgot to reply. Stupid clingy bitches.
Red Robin. Ooh. Ooh. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Can't sleep. Nobody better than Sakti. Why do you have I bought three shrooms, folks. Mmm, shrooms. I have 664 shrooms to pay my greedy faggot gardener to watch my whiteberry bushes. And then I also have baskets of oranges and baskets of apples. So my greedy faggot gardener can watch over my trees as well. I have 60 watermelons to give my greedy faggot gardener to watch over my fruit trees. Because I am now doing farming a little bit on and off. I just want to get 75 for the time being. So on top of buying all the seeds... I have to buy a bunch of random crap to give my greedy faggot gardener so they will watch my crops. Let's take it. 
texting me now, Pat. Stupid side bitch.
fuck is a shit? Embrace whatever it brings. <laughs> and it's similar in specs, but almost half the price. So people are interested in coming Apple MacBook, the 12 inch one. And it's similar in specs, but almost half the price. So people are interested in this thing. I've had my review unit for over two weeks. I've used it very extensively. Now, when I do a review on a notebook, especially 250 gigs of SSD, well, Intel Core M5Y10, it surprisingly only runs at 800 megahertz, but it can bump up to two gigahertz with turbo boost. It's got a 13.3 inch 1080p screen, eight gigs of RAM, 250 gigs of SSD. It's got integrated HD 5300 graphics, and all this for $700 in a very thin white package that only weighs 2.65 pounds. The top surface of the notebook is brushed aluminum. Now they've done like a radial pattern, and this surface actually doesn't show fingerprints that easily. Now the bottom of the notebook is also aluminum, but they've done it in a different finish. It's got that satin finish that's similar to the way MacBooks are done. It's got four rubber feet that are actually really grippy, which I like, and two speakers on the left and right here. Now this finish of the aluminum does show fingerprints more easily. And you'll notice how this whole thing has a purplish tint to it. Under certain lights, it kind of looks black or dark gray, but under more natural lighting, it does look a little purple. They call this color obsidian stone, but it's basically like a dull plum or eggplant color, but it looks all right. It's also supposed to come in white in what they call a ceramic alloy color, but I haven't actually seen the white one in person, so I'm not sure how that looks. Now in terms of its size, it's a little bit smaller than a 13 inch MacBook Air, and it's also a little bit lighter. Here you can see the two notebooks end to end. The Asus UX305 is also a little bit shorter. Now on the left side, there's two USB 3 ports and an SD slot. I also want to draw your attention to the finish of the side of the top lid. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a rough finish on the edge of the top lid. When you touch it, it almost feels like sandblasted glass. And on the right side, there's a hole for the AC adapter, another USB 3, a micro HDMI, and a headphone jack. So something I noticed with the SD slot, it is a very loose fitting slot. There's no click or any kind of friction or resistance when you put your card in. So it actually slides in and out really easily. I would even say a little too easily. It's really not a big deal, but I just thought I should mention it. There was a little bit of flex on the screen, nothing major, but the bottom chassis was more flexible than I thought it would be. There was no problems with it, just unexpected. This notebook uses a 45 watt AC adapter. It's pretty small, but the prongs don't fold in. And when you're low on battery, the orange light flashes to let you know. I found that it took about four, four and a half hours to fully charge the battery. And if you're wondering what that white light for that little light bulb icon is, it lights up white when the lid is open and the screen is on. And when you close the lid and it's hibernating, it slowly flashes white. Not very exciting. So this is really nice of ACs. They've included an Ethernet dongle in case you want to use them. It's simple, it's auto-detected by software, and it works. The screen is a matte finish, 1920 by 1080. It's not very bright, but for a notebook this size, it's adequate. It is an IPS display, so the colors are decent, but it's not amazing. But the viewing angles are pretty good. Overall, I think the screen is decent. If you need a better screen, they will have a QHD version in the near future.
but I think for an ultrabook with this processor, the 1080p screen is probably where you want to be. Keep in mind that the 1080p version is not a touchscreen, but the Quad HD one will be. So if you really want a touchscreen, you're going to have to hold out for that high res one. This thing also has a 720p webcam up here, and it works as advertised. It does webcamming in 720p. The keyboard is okay. The first couple of days I was using it, I didn't really like it. So if you really want a touchscreen, you're going to have to hold out for that high res one. This thing also has a 720p webcam up here, and it works as advertised. It does webcamming in 720p. The keyboard is okay. The first couple of days I was using it, I didn't really...